Five. Thank you very much, Mr. Kelly. Uh, welcome everyone to the Public Works Urban Beautification meeting for June 23rd, 2021. Uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, declarations of conflict of interest. None. No, I see, see none. Thank you. Uh, approval of the agenda. Yes. Moved by moved by Councilor Randy. Oh, uh, uh, cool. If we can add one thing to new business, and it's uh, uh, old fashioned lanterns. Right on. So what? Sorry, sir. Old fashioned lanterns. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Not a problem. Old fashioned lanterns. Okay. Anything else, folks? So. We'll move now. I guess Kevin, your uh, council member, you're moving it. Yes, I okay. am. Okay, and then second is by Councilor Duffy. Uh, the adoption of the minutes. Uh, there's two minutes there for you, May 28th and June 3rd. Yes, sir. Please have the chance to read them. Uh, any business arising from them? I guess I should adopt them first. Uh, moved by Councilor Ramsey, second by Councilor Yankov. Uh, any business arising from those minutes? Wallace, I don't know if it was for the open or close, but uh, again, that issue at corner of McGill and Ambrose, the yes. possibility of a stop sign, was that in the close? I think that was in the open. That uh, was in the it open. open session, yep. We, 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 we don't have a, we don't have, we have not completed our view on that yet. Okay. You might have it completed by the next meeting? I would expect so, yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Um, anything else there, guys, on the minutes? No? Uh, yeah. And just two items uh, arising from the minutes. Okay. Uh, one Star Road, which I mentioned on here. Right. Uh, so we've taken a look at the cross section, and I know some of the councillors had suggested that we shift the lanes to one side and, and make a wider walking strip on one side. Uh, two issues with that. One, we're slightly against the Motor Vehicle Act. So the Motor Vehicle Act says anyone walking within the roadway must walk with their back or walk against traffic right. with their back. Uh, you know, you can't have your back to traffic. So if we do the, that, even though we can do some type of delineation, if it's not a separated pathway or sidewalk, it's against the motor vehicle act. So that's issue number one. Number two, if we shift everything over, all our roads are crowned at the center. So what will happen is one lane of traffic will straddle that center lane and actually some lower profile vehicles will likely bottom out if they uh, hit, hit any because of the, how, their, how the center of that road is and their wheels will be straddling that. Um, so it would be a hazard for drivers or vehicles. So we couldn't we couldn't uh, recommend to shift everything to one side and put a walking lane, uh, on a, a one dedicated walking lane. But what we suggest you need to do is we can narrow the lanes up a little bit and get roughly a 1.5, pretty close to it, paved shoulder, and then there is still a gravel shoulder as well. Um, and we would put up flexi posts and look at another option of uh, temporary. Uh, uh, curbs, so there's rubber curbs that you can get out there that oh, yeah, are right. low, low profile, okay. um, and the combination <coughs> of those will a slow down the drivers because they'll feel more narrowed in and enclosed in, in that uh, in the lanes, uh, and will give a little bit more uh, wood more for walkers and cyclists on either side of the road. Yeah. On both sides. Of the road. On both sides of the road. That's correct. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions, that guys? Anybody? No. Anything but there was just one other part of the. Business from Towers Road, I believe Councilor Duffy had asked for the stats on accidents. And I got those from, oh, you did, okay. from Deputy Chief uh, okay. McConnell. And there was 10 accidents there in the last three and a half years, but they weren't on Towers Road. The reason they came up as being on Towers Road, most of them were at the corner of Mount Everett Road and Towers Road, but they were on Mount Everett Road. But because Towers was named in the search engine, so to speak, <clears throat> not on Towers Road, but on Mount Everett Road, that's where the accident occurred, the fender benders, a rear ender, side swipe, whatever. There was one that was on Towers Road itself, and that one on Towers Road was at the bottom of Towers Road at the Federation Trail, where uh, a vehicle struck a pedestrian in the crosswalk. Now that had nothing to do as according to the police, had nothing to do with the design. Not this is not. No, I'm sorry. That wasn't according to the police. That had nothing to do with the design of the road or the safety of the road. That had to do with the inconsideration or the non-attention of the driver of the vehicle. The person was in the crosswalk, was visible, but yet, you know. So you can't say this is a dangerous situation because for pedestrians and cyclists on Towers Road. That is false. All right. Okay. Thank um, you. Thank you very much, Councilor W. and uh, Councilor Yankov. Um, so, 
the top, one other concern there was the top, since we're on the tower, the top of the road there, the right lane, that's going to be? We've looked at that. So to add a right turn right now, we'd have to add additional asphalt to make it work. Um, so that's, we're coming up with a plan to see how we can do that. So when we do, so we, right now we do have a, a design for that road to upgrade that intersection right. to add a multi-piece pathway. Uh, we're seeing what we can do in the interim to get that extra lane in. Good. Good. That's great. Mr. Chair, yes. there will be proposed construction taking place down on Towers Road, both in the north and the south side of the road. The south side, I, I believe, uh, the Nervish Development Group are looking at constructing another apartment building. Right. I think there's two remaining lots on that so property. To access equipment mm -hmm. and materials, they'll have to construct a driveway, correct? Correct, yep. S further, closer to the, to the, uh, to the Confederation Trail. Right. So, yep. you know, anything we're doing now mm -hmm. is just to remedy any exactly. traffic That's or right. pedestrian concerns. But the long term is after the, Once the area is fully developed, is we will have a multi purpose path. Right. 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 Yep. That's my answer. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you, sir. Good, thank I you. Have one. Oh, yes, Mr. Councilor Randy. We've been beating this Towers Road thing up. It's, I'm never hearing anything on it. So where is all this coming from with all the complaints? So is, it, is it just coming from a certain person or is it all the neighborhood out there? Well, I, I think, you know, if I want to go look for trouble, I can find it. Um, um, you know, uh, there was a public meeting held uh, by one individual and uh, um, they gave him all kinds of uh, things to work on. Okay. So at the end, that's pretty well where it came from. Uh, but I uh, will state that Public Works at no time ever gave the green light to do a multi-purpose path on Towers Road until all the construction was done. And I believe it was a neighborhood meeting. It was, it was I was at the meeting. It was the it was, sorry, I'm going to say a public meeting. It was it a was neighborhood the, meeting. Sorry. I was at the meeting. Yes. And there were multiple concerns. Right. Well, there was with traffic. Yeah. Um, what's, what's, what's the proposed development of the north, north, uh, north side of the Towers right. Road? Um, what about uh, slowing down speeders for Mr. Kavanagh as an example? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just one issue, there were not multiple yeah. issues. Okay. I was there. And, and some of it though also had nothing just to do with Towers Road, it had to do with Mount Everett Road. To, there was, I think there was various concerns, I think. Correct. Right? And, uh, so it just wasn't Towers Road. But like you say, if you want to go out and have a neighborhood meeting, you'll get lots of work. Uh, yeah. I don't think it matters what street you're on. That's just, but you it's, know, it's not fair to even say it's not all about Towers Road. Like, it's nothing's yeah. about Towers Road when you look at the safety yeah. report, the accident report. Yeah. They all occurred at the intersections, except for the one yeah. that I mentioned. Eh? Yeah. And that wasn't uh, a dangerous situation of the road. That was the inattention yeah. or the, the non-attention of, yeah. of the driver. There's just no doubt about it. Yeah. So to say that it needs an upgrade in order to, to be, provide safe environment no. is is not a correct statement. A correct it doesn't. Statement. It doesn't. And, and you see, Mr. Chair, just one point. Uh, we are doing a proposed reconstruction. We have a tender here today down in Pond Street, which is the same ward. Same idea. So yeah. it's, it's a $1.7 million yeah. Yeah. reconstruction. So Gas you know, we have to, be, have to look at the other uh, yeah, areas area. of the city. Like yeah. Councilor McCain. He's talking yeah. about completing the, the, the path to nowhere on the Cray Drive. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know you're talking about yeah. the sidewalks or yeah. mm -hmm. active transportation pathways up in, in the uh, eastern yeah. section of War Two. Yeah. You know, it's, so there's you know, lots to do, but we have to be fair and reasonable. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't, you know, we just want to work together so that we can put these projects in somewhat of a priority and and uh, according to dollars and according to emergencies and safety. So, but um, the, each ward has its, has uh, things that have to be done and uh, we all learn to have to be a little patient and work together to get them all done. Um, moving on, uh, you had a second one, uh, Mr. Adams? Yep, it was just about uh, entrance signage. So right. uh, we do have one document here just showing the- Jalazi. Yes, Jalazi will be, uh, uh, they're working on that now. So uh, they expect a one to two week turnaround for this to be done. So uh, Good. Uh, we're, we're trying to get it done hopefully by the end of next week, but uh, it could be up. Thanks to the chief engineer for the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> next week. And the, oh, the other signage, Cape the, signage. The other, the other signage is uh, pricing is, I think we started getting finally some of the pricing this week. Um, it should all be in by the end of the week and then we'll be able to issue that PO by the end of, uh, by first next week. Okay. Yes, that's the yeah. next step we're working on as yeah. well. Yes, we're signed in. And, <laughs> and well, you kept beating up for two and a half years. And 
and some of the, I, I guess also the pole painting, uh, some of the black yep. lanterns and other. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the ongoing this summer. Yeah, that's correct. correct. That's public works, isn't it? The, yeah. the lantern poles? And yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it was parks or recreation or public works. Okay. Um, so, uh, on to reports. Uh, first one is the uh, is tenders, uh, public works building. Mr. Adams. Thank you. Uh, so we've been working hard with our consultant to uh, get this project underway and we finally got it tendered um, and closed on uh, June 15th. We had three bidders. Uh, we had an estimate budget of 6.2 million for the entire project that includes consulting services and all that. We are uh, very close to that budget um, and we, we expected it unfortunately since our capital budget was approved cost of materials uh, have risen significantly. Um, our consultant was a little worried of their price, but it came in actually lower than we anticipated thankfully, because of the prices. Uh, so we do need an additional $151,118.54 to raise the PO this year for the purchase or for the construction of that building. Uh, and again, it's mostly attributed to the additional cost or increase in cost mm -hmm. of materials. Now, remind, uh, just a kind of reminder to council as well, we do have an application with uh, that has been submitted to FCM for funding on this project. We haven't heard back from them yet. Uh, it can, at least it can take up to four to five months to get approval on it. Uh, but we can award it does not hurt our chances of getting any application or uh, getting approval on this uh, project. So if we go ahead with our own money and then we get approved, yep. they, they'll reimburse us? Yes, correct. Yeah. That's good. Good. Yeah. 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 Yes, as long as we, they, I think the only stipulation was they were not allowed, we can't pay them. Anything that we pay before we get approved, we don't get, we can't get reimbursed. But uh, looking at the timeline from, they said it takes four to five months, and from when we first submitted our application uh, to the time that work will start in September is when the start date is. The end of September for this work is what the anticipated start time is. Uh, we shouldn't have any issues. We, okay. we, don't, we don't see us having to pay any bills before we know if we get money or not. So total cost? Pardon me? Total cost. Total cost in? Uh, the projected 6.3 came in at? Yeah, it, it came in at, so we have projected a budget of 6.2 million. Uh, but again, that includes our consulting fees. Uh, and so right now we are, I don't have the full total. We're short by 150. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're short, is 151,000 is what we're yeah. short in total. So it's going to be 6.351. Yeah. With taxes in, yeah. HST included. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, which we get 10% back on. So that's, sorry, that's 10%, or 10%, it's only 10% HST. So right. we, when we raise PO, we only put 10% on the purchase order, not 15. Right. Because we can automatically take that off. So, and then we get the remaining 5% back later on. And they don't get that revenue that goes into general revenue. General yeah. Okay. So, um, so do you have a place you can find the 151? So we're recommending taking from the fire station three fund right now. There's 4.5 million in that, uh, and based on timeline from when we award or when we start this project to this point in time, uh, there's no way we'll break ground on that this year. Uh, At the fire station, yeah. Good. There, because like you look at it, we started this project June or July last year, and we're just uh, getting award or tendered right now. Uh, and they're not planning on breaking ground until the end of September. Um, that design, I think they have a floor plan now, but then there's design and the tendering process, which can take up to upwards of three months, three or four months, um, and no contractor will be breaking ground in the winter. It will no. likely be the spring before, it would be the earliest of breaking ground. Do some groundwork in the fall? Yeah. Just be yes. yeah. 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 There some might be some groundwork, yeah. They're not going to spend enough. But they no. won't be spending the, 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 the full budget of that this but, year. But all your projects won't be starting this year in, no. the, in the capital budget, right? No, uh, this one, uh, everything should be in the capital budget starting this year, uh, except for likely the fire station. We, we anticipate everything will be started this year. So starting in the fall, breaking ground, for example. Yep. How, how long of a project is it? November 2022 is the completion date. So you're looking at a year? Yeah. And the fire station, we not here the other day, your worship, it was going to be three to four years before it was finished? No. No, it's, it's, it's 9,000. This is a 20. This is 20, 21, so, 22,000. No, no, fire station is 9,600 square feet. Smaller building. Uh, Foster, one of them said that the other day that he. No, he didn't want to break ground this fall because construction during the winter is a little more costly. All right. So that won't be starting to basement next year. 
well, that's what the two well, likely, just likely, yeah. yeah. At the early, so by the time we get a tender to an award, uh, you're be looking late. at be late. late this year. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't typically want to pour concrete in the winter months. Um, so oh, no, no, yeah. no. I must, yeah. uh, like, I must have misunderstood or yeah. didn't hear the property because I thought someone said right. anywhere for two or three years. And okay. but, Mr. Chair, as for the Station three or fire station three, mm -hmm. we could award the contract this year. Yep. Payments, progress right. payments, once oh, yeah. to crash year. Won't start, yeah, yeah. Yeah. absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Similar to like this one, we're awarding now, but work won't start until September. Uh, yeah. So, Mr. Chair, on, on, in terms of the progress payments for the garage, the, the contractor, if we, if we go with Fitz yes. and Snow, they'll be putting in a uh, request for progress pay payments. Anything that we give them in advance of getting the FCM funding, correct. we will not get that funding. That's correct. Yeah. But and is it, it is it a grant or is it a low cost? There's or low, two parts. Low interest loan? There is a grant and also a low interest loan. Okay. Yes, there's two portions to that. Okay. Are they fifty fifty or do you know? No. Um, I think the it equates to uh, the grant is equates to roughly eight hundred thousand dollars if i remember correctly I'll, i can double check the numbers and circulate it uh, and i'm not sure the interest rate on it i don't know if you uh, recall it's yeah. definitely below the bank rate or be below I, I believe so yes. yeah it's quite it's low quite, yeah. quite a bit lower yeah, yeah. yeah. okay okay well, thank you so the resolution's in front of you i guess i'll probably need a motion to move this on to finance I'll moved by yeah. councillor yankoff <laughs> Second so just to be clear on this, this is the price of the plan. You also should be adding into to the motion to increase the capital project by 151,000. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 yep. We can definitely. And do should we indicate where the money's coming from? We need to do that. You, you don't do that in a resolution, but in the background, we, that's how we've always done in the past, was we put it in the background and it gets attached to the resolution. Right. So, yeah. right. so, so will we uh, just add that, the increase on to the actual yeah. resolution? Yes, we so can make that uh, word right. adjustment. Right, okay. perfect. Okay, so all those in favor? Good. And we'll move that, thank you, move that on. Next one, I believe, Scott, is what? The, uh, the what's it called? Traffic the phase controllers. traffic controllers. Yes. Uh, so these are the big uh, gray boxes you see next to a traffic signal. Mm -hmm. They're the brains of uh, any traffic <coughs> signal uh, in the city. Um, here in the city and in the province, um, we've always used a, a product uh, supplied by uh, Fortran. Uh, and the reason why both province, city, and Summerside are all the same is so that we can all share parts and the same resources, the limited resources around the province that can fix them are extremely knowledgeable on them. Uh, so we recommend that uh, N4 Tram only has one vendor that is approved to sell to island customers, uh, which is RK Associates. Uh, so we are recommending to Soul Source to purchase three traffic controller cabinets uh, to RK Associates at a cost of $47,555 plus all applicable taxes. Um, and these three will, will go to replace, uh, uh, we have a number of uh, traffic controllers that are aging. Um, there are a few that are beyond the age where we can even get them repaired. Um, we can't find replacement parts anymore because they're that old. So we want to get them out of here before we do have an issue. Uh, we had an issue down at um, in front of the, the Mac Theater, that signal's right there, that is, one of the cabinets that will be replaced um, right now it is operating on a i guess a, a, a band-aid solution but uh, we want to get it fixed up and replaced with a modern system in there want to get the best band working on ken smith he's very good yeah between him and the uh, hansons they've been yeah. uh, I know. This is yeah. Yeah. okay so we have the resolution bunnies uh moved, moved by the mayor and second by councillor ramsey all those in favor of right. this great to move on thank you and you're going to keep going i guess Scott, eh? um, <laughs> i guess so huh? uh another tender eastern <coughs> gateway phase one uh publicly advertised closed june 8th uh this is for design work to uh start planning for uh, for the city to need uh, uh, to work in tandem with the province to um, work on the part eastern part of the city because uh, the province again in 2023 I believe they're looking at changing that route or that intersection and that Grafton Hillsborough Bridge uh, Riverside Drive 
uh, current signalized to a, a roundabout, and so we want to work in tandem with them and get our stuff ready, uh, which is part of our master plan for Eastern Gateway, to abandon that leg from Water Street down uh, and divert traffic uh, through New Roadway up to Grafton Street. Um, also part of this, they're going to be looking at storm water. There is a lot of storm water issues in this area, Joe Gibbs, around the uh, Holland College property. Um, so that is part, that is the biggest part of this phase is analyzing, uh, reviewing the storm water needs for this area, um, developing a brand new plan for that so that we can handle current and future storm water needs in this area of the city. Uh, and we want to do it all together because we want the new storm line in the new alignment for the roadway. I have no questions. Anybody? So I will say on this one. Um, so it was our piece, so we scored it on both technical and uh, and the financial side of things. Um, so from a technical score, there's a team of myself and two others that will review each proposal, give them a score out of 85, uh, and then we provide the scores to finance, who have a second envelope with all the pricing for these projects, and then they determine the pricing score. Uh, so. Uh, this has been a bit of an unusual one. We actually had a tie for first place. There's a tie between EXP and Kohl's at 95.5 points. Uh, they both had very similar technical scores, only one point separated them. And on the flip side, their final financial score only separated them by one point. So we talked it over, we have talked with finance, um, with the controller, uh, trying to figure out what is the best way to proceed with this one uh, because there is a tie. We were satisfied extremely satisfied with both technical with both technical proposals <coughs> and at the end of the day it, staff are recommending to go with the low bid we feel like that was the most equitable uh, most fair way to award this recommended one um, is go with the low bid at the end of the day because both projects both teams are were extremely skilled uh, and so at the end of the day that would be exp at the cost of eighty five thousand three hundred dollars who is, e, who is EXP? EXP is an engineering firm. They're based out of, the local office is based out of Moncton. Yeah. Uh, but they're a large international uh, engineering firm. 95 offices across the world. Yeah. But for a difference of, okay, yeah. Mr. Chair? Yes. Yes. Sure. Uh, I'm going to disagree with staff on the uh, recommendation of EXP. I want to propose colds. It's a 1% difference. And I'll tell you what, sir. Mm -hmm. How many? I was just at Tim Horns yesterday, and, and seniors, two seniors, are still talking about some of the tenders that we gave to off island firms. Mm -hmm. um, Coles have been in the city for many years. Uh, they're into a third generation now. Elliot Coles is working for the uh, firm. And if I look at another tender that we did, we gave it to a firm higher points and a higher price and then we backtracked and we gave it to a local firm with a lower price and points difference wasn't too much. One percent to me is not a hell I want to tie on for this one. No, I, like that was my question and that's why I was wondering where they're from and, and I'm in favor. I, I'm going to kill your worship. Yeah. I, I appreciate staff and enough. how they work with the EXP. Yeah. They're Coles, yeah. great company. Yeah. I know some may not agree with me, but I'm not supporting the staff's recommendation. Right. And I appreciate your. No, oh, and we and we and, and we knew this would be a discussion point, And I guess uh, in talking with it, with our uh, counterparts of finance, in these tender documents, we don't stipulate uh, any local content, um, and, and um, you know, it's something that. You know we're tied by uh, by various legislation and, and provincial legislation. Uh, at the end of the day, we make our recommendation to ensure that we don't open up the city to liability. Uh, you know those are things that we take into uh, account when uh, we look at rec making recommendations on these things. So uh, that's just one thing we want to just advise. for the price differential is eight although the score differential is so 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 the, yeah, the price differential eighty five thousand three hundred versus ninety two two oh five. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what do you just want to do, uh, Mike and Council Duffy? Where are you at? Uh, I go strictly with, as we all know, I go with the best deal for the taxpayer. 
was this six thousand dollars, five thousand dollars in the difference? Uh, eight thousand. Or it would be in our pocket. Six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Sorry. Yep. Um, well, I mean, uh, how do you want to do? You want to put this to a vote? Yeah. yeah. I want to move that. Okay. Do you, do you want to move it? Go right ahead. Um, sure. Okay. You move that we go with the local local and yeah. Okay. And then um, and don't I mean, we're just moving this to go to finance, right? Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're gonna second that? Yeah. Good. So um, all those in favor of that motion, please raise your hand. So we have three to one in favor of going with Coles over the XP. And then I'll tell them to finance. Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> uh, what do we got left, Scott? The urban uh, beautification bond. Yes, the final on Pond Street. Uh, so we had issued this for uh, tender, closing on May 21st. Um, it uh, we only had one submission on construction. Uh, it did come in over budget, um, what we assumed. But there are a lot of things that. Uh, uh, account for the cost inflation and some of the bigger ones are uh, pricing for materials have gone up um, and it is a tight footprint to work in for our contractor as well uh, so there's a lot going on in that area a lot of traffic control and things like that so that's why there is a uh, uh, price was over budget now the reason why staff are making a recommendation to award it and to proceed with this work we have uh, been in discussions for now two years now I think with district heating um, they had, they are prepared to start working July 6th and they're replacing that entire line along wow. Pond Street wow. um, so that they're never in there. And the goal is so that they're never in there digging up that street. Every, I think every, 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 every year right now it's been for the past four, since I've been here, past four or five years, it's been dug up every year on a repair. So they're replacing like that. that fiber optic cable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's being repaired. So they're replacing the entire line. Their pipe is supposed to be here for July 6th and so starts shortly cold. after that. Um, and our recommendation is we award it and as soon as they're done that work we're coming in right behind and uh, upgrading the street. Upgrade the street. Yes. Good. So are we making it a wider street? No, so what we, do we do? We are maxing out our width. Um, so we worked with uh, various landowners along the way there. Our roadway is approximately eight meters wide from curb to curb which is quite, it's not narrow for a road but it's narrow for a railway. We don't have a lot of room through there. Uh, we work with uh, a number of property owners along the north side of that street, and all of them have uh, uh, green light us uh, working with them for placing the sidewalk on their property. So we're uh, working on easement documents with all of them right now. Uh, so that's all taken care of uh, long before we get this project uh, started. Um, so yes, we're, we're maximizing our space in there. <coughs> we don't move our crew in until they're done. The heat, you know, the central heating. So it's going to be the same contractor, likely. Um, on like construction or on like coastal sorry, is doing the work for district heating. So they'll likely, they will probably be doing some of the work in tandem. Uh, and we'll leave that to them to coordinate with their own internal forces. Hmm. So in this process, Chair, we also have to increase the capital budget too. So it's approved the contract. Increase the capital budget right. by six hundred and ninety dollars for you. Or, $696,840 and that that goes funds coming out of the capital budget as well. Just say your prayers tonight and tomorrow because if the BIA goes through the yeah. budget Im implementation yeah. act, there's going to be more money in, in the gas tax. Yeah, and uh, I just caution uh, uh, the fact though that we, we seem to be hearing this word, you know, oh, when we get our gas tax, when we get our gas tax, when we get it, you know, but I mean, there seems to be a few projects lined up. Uh, we're spending money we don't You're own, right, right? right? And that's what scares you sometimes is that we're spending money we don't have. So let's be cautious moving forward. But um, again, something like we said earlier, uh, we uh, you know we do have to keep in mind all the wards need to get something. So um, let's just this keep this in mind. And this yeah. is a joint project between water and sewer pump works. So the same oh, residence right. will be going there as well. So um, yeah, so there's money in both fund in both. Uh, going uh, both both uh, departments thank you yeah. uh, so yes they're we're replacing the entire water and sewer system in there wow. oh yes the goal is it, this is kind of our I, I guess our goal is to show this is how we can work together and, and rebuild the street yeah. um, and at the end of the day not ever have to go back in there for uh, you know 15 20 years 
Very good. So, so Mr. Chair, did I hear right? There, there's also money in water and sewer budget. So, yes. so is this part? Of, is it's this all part of it. Yes, it's, the it's, whole it's number is in here. That's it's correct. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's good. Uh, good leadership on the intergovernmental affairs side. Well, I the said. Yeah. Priorities. Yeah, working with the province. <laughs> We're taking that over with. Well, <laughs> we love them. <laughs> I'll just take the accolades. I need a motion we to need move this forward. Might, you want to make the motion to move this forward, too? Uh, yeah, I need to. <laughs> Second mm -hmm. Because we talked about this, Mr. Chair, didn't we, for the last two or three years? Well, we've been years, waiting, for them, years. waiting for them to do their work. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. Like, like, let's get this That's done and get it off the books. And, yeah. and, and I will tell you, that we won last the, the folks on the street, the business owners, are extremely excited. Yeah. Like, we've talked to all Did of them. Did you ask for any money from them? What's that? Do they, do they pay taxes in their funding? They pay yeah. taxes. They pay taxes. <laughs> I know they do. And, and a lot of them are talking about their rentals they're going to do afterwards yeah. to spruce so up their properties. Oh, it's great. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. I think it's, it's people yeah. are excited about that. They're like, yes, the city's taking pride in their street, so we're going to take pride in our properties yeah. and clean up. Yeah, because we were yeah. dancing around this street for yeah. years. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. All those in favor of that motion? Just before oh, we sorry. I'm just trying to visualize the sidewalk or the pathway. Is it going to be on the north side or the south side? North side. So. When you get by the parking lot yeah. for the Oak Tree uh, liquor, commission. liquor Commission, what do you do? Go, do you go blow, blow so, right? Yeah, so the yeah. sidewalk. The tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it'll, be, it'll be like a driveway, any typical driveway. The sidewalk will go right through the driveway uh, as, we, uh, as we do oh, elsewhere. Okay. And we looked at a couple options. One, we, we didn't want to hang up the, the plaza because that would reduce a lot of parking. Yeah. Um, and then we looked at the traffic volumes and the number of people parking there during the peak time for pedestrian, which is lunch hour. That is when we have the bulk of our pedestrians, right. lunch hour. And it's very low use, uh, that parking lot along that side of the building. Okay. You know, most of the bulk time for people to go into the liquor store is the so 5 p.m. summertime time rush, right? Uh, so we looked at that. So. Uh, we looked at also a couple other options. Um, one, trying to work with the plaza owner there um, to run the sidewalk, because they currently have a sidewalk that runs right beside their building. Uh, if you pitch in the liquor store there, yeah. there's the building, there's the sidewalk, and then the parking, people pull up against the sidewalk. We thought about kind of tying it in with that, but then we looked at, we didn't really want to send junior high and high school kids by the main entrance of the liquor store. Just optics and all that stuff, it just didn't, we didn't, we didn't like that look of it. it didn't seem to be and then there's also liability who maintains it who plows it and all that stuff it was getting a little uh, pretty muddy so we figured uh, we looked at the number of safety concern and we figured this is the best option to put it so there. we're going on the mall side correct yes the sidewalk. that's correct because yeah. as of now it's on the other side is it correct yeah. Uh, as of right now, there I don't call no, liquor stores. I don't know. There, there's no there, as of, as of right now. There's no sidewalk at all in the street. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, so yeah. Because there's not a lot of high school kids do yeah. walk. Yes, so it's going to be on not the mall side. No, it's on the. Oh, sorry, it's, it's on, on the, the liquor store side. Yes. Yeah, so but side. I just thought yeah. Scott just said like like they don't want them walking by the liquor store. No, but where Scott's talking about is when yeah. you go to the liquor store, going north. There's a sidewalk that runs right par runs parallel to the liquor store. Like it right. owned, it's owned by the liquor store. Yeah. Or the, uh, the this sidewalk sort of continue yeah. right to University Avenue. Right. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. 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 So Officer, when we get to, you get to the parking lot of Swiss Chalet, yeah. that raised curb will be gone. Yes, and we're going in behind that raised curb is where oh. our sidewalk is. Our sidewalk, right. we're working again like Swiss right. Chalet, Harvey's there. We work okay. with their owner where the sidewalk is building. going between the light posts that they have and that uh, raised curb there. That will be gone. So, Great plan. Yes. Yeah. Great yeah. work. Yes. Yeah. Like I say, the business owners have been very, very excited for this. Yeah. So, are we all in favor? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll move that on. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the tenders out of the way. Uh, introduction of new business. And, and just one item on oh. the new business. Um, yep. So capital budget. Uh, we have a line item for uh, uh, LED conversion of our old-fashioned ones. So, so those are the lights we own downtown uh, that we're trying to convert over over the years to LED. Uh, however, there is one area that has come to our attention downtown that currently has little to no light and there's a lot of users heading in that area and that's around the end of Fitzroy from Rochford to Terry Fox. Yeah. Uh, it is quite dark down there with all the tall buildings. It's dangerous. It, it is, yes. We were, we, we, we've heard a number of concerns down there uh, and since we looked at it we thought this is a great area to add additional lighting. We stopped Fitzroy, uh, we've, we continue the old fashions right now. They're on Fitzroy down to Rochford 
And so we want to carry them on to Terry Fox and then up to Brighton. And with the allocation that we had set aside for the LED conversion, our preliminary estimates say that we can do this project instead if it's something that we want to do as a committee to allocate those funds to do that. So one question I do have, um, sure. um, Councilor Yankoff might have uh, got a call to this. So the, on the corner of Rossford, uh, there's a light pole. And when you're looking, when you come out to go right or left, and you, it makes it terribly hard to see cars coming from Brighton. And some people say, why can't they move that pole back? And likely we might be able to. Yeah. I know there is very... Yeah. I know there's very little right away there. Yeah. Um, as you've probably seen in the document there, yeah. there's a couple of notes where you see easements. Yeah. Uh, we practically just own, uh, we have to do a legal survey, of course, to figure out our actual property yeah. boundaries. Yeah. Um, downtown yeah. is a nightmare to try to figure out where our actual line is. Yeah. Uh, so it's something we can look at as part of it. Uh, mm. You know, we, we have a yeah. oh, here. It's right, right on the corner of Roster Street. It's yeah. right. It's noted in the drawing, actually. You can see the yeah, that's, that's it. In the, yeah. yeah, that's it in the drawing, actually. And it makes so it's just the angle of Brighton Road, and you're coming up to Rossford when you go to. So it's busy enough, you know. All of a sudden, cars come out of Terry Fox too. Oh. But there's a pole. Man, it's right in your sight. Oh, oh in it's your sight. Going under Rossford. Yeah. Off the yeah. Right. Okay. So when you yes, pull out onto Houston, yeah. it's um. I've had a bunch of people ask me, like, well, why is that pole? Can you know, push it back a bit? You know, well, the, today with the leaning lights and yeah, you know. But, and it's already a messy enough little intersection with the slight left. Yeah, it, straight it, to it's another one of them. Uh, yeah, oh, Foster Store. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So, anyway, that's something. Yeah. But, um, but the lighting is necessary. Is necessary. No, I agree. Did you notice yourself? Yes, I've concerns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Character. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. If we're all in favor of that, uh, do you need a motion for that? Uh, yeah, sure. Just so that we know we can't reallocate those funds. I'll motion that we reallocate and uh, put in the old-fashioned entrance down along Rochford. Yes. Yeah. I'll yeah. second. Everybody and Councilor Yankoff. Yeah. 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 Yeah.